Hi everyone, my name's Sunny and welcome back to My Mass Adventure. In this video, I'll be explaining how I increase my mass grades and my study effectiveness with this one thing. So stick around. If you haven't already, I really appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button. It really helped me promote my channel and help me grow for the future. So I'm guessing you're a mature student who goes to evening class for one lesson a week for approximately maybe three hours. I don't think with the best intention in the world, you're gonna learn all the mathematical concepts in those three hours. It's gonna be very challenging and difficult. So that's why you need to learn this one thing to take your math studies to the next level. And that one thing is independent learning. Unless you're really talented or gifted naturally in mathematics, you're going to really find it difficult to learn all the key concepts within a restricted amount of time. So that's why you need to learn how to study independently outside of class. Now, independent learning is something that's done outside of class and isn't homework. Homework is a form of directed study by your tutor. So independent learning is done outside of your school. It's meant to help you learn, educate, consolidate and expand your knowledge in mathematics. Now, as we're in the grips of this COVID-19 global pandemic, there's never been a better time for you to take up independent study and learn something new not just mathematics. As I mentioned, the most important thing about independent learning is that you need to direct yourself. You can't wait for anyone to tell you what you need to do. Independent learning is where you need to use your own time to investigate, research, complicated mathematics subjects that you're unsure of without the direction of your teacher. For example, one of the challenges that I had with my A-level mathematics was logarithms. Now logarithms was something new to me because I never studied it at GCSE level. So it was a brand new topic altogether and something new that I had to learn. I remember in class we only had probably one and a half lessons to learn about logarithms. That's approximately about five hours. Now best win in the world, you're not gonna learn everything about a key subject like logarithms in that amount of hours. I remember I had to learn logarithm function basics, understand and use the law of logarithms, no logs and its inverse, logarithmic graphs, exponential growth and decay models, a whole range of different areas within that. So that's approximately five and a half hours to learn all those key subjects about logarithms. Clearly that wasn't enough time in class to learn everything. So I had to go away and learn independently about those subjects. I couldn't wait for my tutor to direct me to say, Sani, go and learn those subjects in your own time. I had to take it upon myself to do it. For me, independent study is motivated by one key factor and that's curiosity. You need to be motivated by curiosity to want to learn something new and it's that drive to be curious that will drive your independent study as well. Without curiosity and excitement, you're gonna find it difficult to actually want to learn new mathematical concepts. So how do you become an independent learner? So I've got three quick tips that I'm gonna give you to make sure that you study well, excel at your mathematics, and get really great grades when the exam time comes. So these are just some of my ideas. If you have any thoughts of your own, just leave them in the comment section. Whilst you're there, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll appreciate your support, thank you. So my first tip is just to make sure that you have time to study. Homework is a little bit different. That's more of a form of a directed study that your teacher or tutor will give you to go away and do. Whilst it's done in your own time, it's not really a form of independent study. Independent study requires extended hours outside of classroom activity or even homework. So perhaps you're a mature student who's balancing work and math studies. What I recommend you do is find the time or a certain amount of time each week to study outside of the classroom. If you set scheduled time during the week and there's an allocated set amount of time, you're more likely to stick to the plan. 
Now I did say a set amount of time, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a set amount because as we know, sometimes we will get mathematical concepts that we really need to go into a deeper level and therefore we need to actually dedicate more time to it. So the amount of hours that you actually devote to a certain subject will really depend on how complex it is. At least aim to do a minimum amount of hours. I mean, the sweet spot for me is around about nine to 12 hours a week. However, that changes depending on how difficult the subject area is. So again, that can change upwards or downwards. So remember, setting aside a certain amount of time during the week will set you up for success as an independent learner. So my second tip is know what you're going to study in advance. Don't go into your study session without a clear plan of what you're going to be doing. For example, one of the big areas that I found complicated was logarithms. Now, as any A-level math student can tell you, logarithms is a big subject area. So I knew I had to separate it into smaller chunks. One week I may be studying log equations, the next study session I may be doing the laws of logarithms, the next week I may be doing exponential growth and decay. So it was a varied topic. So for me, separating it into smaller manageable pieces really helped me. Another important thing that I did was to set myself learning goals and outcomes. I knew what I wanted to study in advance and I wouldn't actually move forward until I learnt those key concepts. So remember, maths is a progressive subject. You need to build a strong foundation before you move on to more complicated subject areas. My third tip is to take responsibility for your learning. You need to be an active student who takes initiative to study independently outside of class. Not some sort of innocent bystander waiting for their tutor to spoon feed them their material. Mathematics isn't this cooking class whereby you do a recipe and voila, you have the finished article. Math studies is meant to be engaging with the subject on a deeper level so you can understand the key concepts rather than skimming over on a surface level. To be honest, we've never been so lucky living in this virtual digital world with all the free knowledge that's available to us. We're blessed with so much mathematical free knowledge like perhaps face-to-face -face learning, online learning, and perhaps the biggest learning material in the world, like online free YouTube tutorials. So take control of your learning. If your tutor only skims a certain amount of a subject area, take that opportunity to learn independently. So don't blame your tutor for not going in depth into the actual material because there's time restrictions. Instead, be a mature student, be a responsible student who's going to learn independently outside of class. So stop using the excuse that the reason why you didn't learn something because your tutor or your teacher didn't show you. It's a poor excuse in this modern digital world. So make sure you take responsibility for your learning. So those are my three tips for becoming a great independent learner. Make time for your studies. Make sure you plan your studies and take responsibility for your studies. If you do these three things, I guarantee that you will develop other essential skills in terms of like your learning as well. Things like time management, your thinking skills, your research abilities, the ability to stay motivated, and also it would develop your sense of initiative. The biggest thing is I know if you learn how to study independently, your math studies and grades will get better. If you don't believe me, then let me know in the comments section if independent study didn't work out for you. I would love to hear your thoughts on the subject. So that's it from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Next week, I'll be discussing my plans for ne next academic year and what I'll be doing, some crazy plans I have. Hopefully, you can join me for that next video. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.